Hey guys, welcome back to another Almost Inevitable Design Divi tutorial and um, just a quick, quick advertisement. I made a new course, it's pretty cool. It's how to make Divi way more responsive than it is and adjust the layouts so it'll become uh, responsive and respond the way you want it. Uh, there's a coupon, that's there's a, there's a sale that's going on right now, it ends soon, so uh, if you need, if you think this is worth uh, your time, investing your time in learning how to, uh, learning CSS and how to make Divi more responsive, then I, I think you should give it a try. Uh, and of course, if you sign up to the newsletter, you'll get a lot of stuff and also an extra coupons for things that go on sale. All right, so uh, just check out my website and uh, let's go on. All right, now we're gonna learn how to make the line uh, animation really cool. And of course, if you're checking this uh, on YouTube, then it's in the, the link is in the comments. If you're checking this on my website, then you'll see the line animation working. Uh, for now, we're just gonna start right away. And of course, I'm gonna call this line animation um, page. There we go, use a Divi Builder and we're gonna start here. Now, I don't use the Visual Builder because I've been using Divi since its first release, version 1.0, and uh, I don't know, I've never been comfortable using the Visual Builder. I've always used this, the backend builder. I don't even use uh, the text module. I only use the code module and image module, and that's pretty much it for me. Uh, anyways, so I'm gonna center that. So it's, uh, there we go, that's our header. And let's start with the bar counter module. Okay, now we're gonna add a new bar counter. Give it 100% because we want it to go all the way. Uh, and then we're gonna give it a background color. Now let's just give it a simple color like that. And we are basically done. Oh, I'll just center that just in case. Uh, we're done for this. Uh, we don't, and, oh here, this is actually important because uh, you're gonna start with the gray background and then the red is gonna uh, animate over it and we don't want that. We want it to just appear, which is why we're gonna take out all the color uh, with either white like that or even like that with a zero opacity. Now nobody can see anything, it'll just look clear. All right, cool. And let's add some more text, like a paragraph. There we go. There we go. Let's, uh, let's put this in the center, center align it. Cool. Now, if we publish this, it's not going to look uh, like proper line animation, as you can see um, here. Because that's what happens, right? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this, okay? Now, this, it says cool divider, which is what we're gonna add. Now, I, I'm adding this here, okay? I'm adding this here. What you could do if you want, if you want this to uh, if you want to use this anim um, line animation throughout the website, you can add it here, okay? So it doesn't matter. I'll just add it here, I guess. And here in the bar counter module, we're going to add, uh, what was it? Cool divider, okay? Cool divider. There we go. Now, as you can see here, I set the width to be 90 pixels wide. Now, you can, of course, adjust this to any way you want. You can use percentages, you can use uh, larger pixels, whatever you want. Heights are gonna be the thickness of the line. And um, I, I made sure I took out everything. Uh, I'm, I added this because sometimes if you have special uh, stylings for uh, lists sometimes you might have to take them out so I made sure I took them out okay so let's see how this works there you go that's it 
Done. Cool. That's all you need. You need to assign a name to the module itself. You need to assign a name to the module like that, right here. And just paste this in and you're pretty much done. So you don't need to worry about any other settings. Just take the color out here, no color here, uh, opacity at zero, and then make sure it's 100%. And then the background color will be whatever color you want the line to become. Uh, you can change the thickness with these numbers here. And that's all you need to know. So there you go. Pretty cool, right? All right. So I'll maybe see you in another video. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.